Hey guys, welcome back to Automation eLearn. I'm your friend Suresh Tube, and in this video, I'm going to discuss difference between blocks and methods in Java. So guys, these are the points that we are going to discuss in this video. We will see what are blocks in Java and what are the different types of blocks that we have and their uses. On the similar line, we'll talk about what are the methods and what are the different types of methods we have. And we will also talk about the main difference between blocks and methods. So guys, by the end of this video, you have a clear understanding about blocks and methods and their uses. So guys, here I am on my Eclipse and uh, I'm going to have a small program where I will explain about blocks and methods and their uses. So let's talk about blocks first. So guys, here if I type curly brace, then this is called block. Block always start with open curly brace and end with closing curly brace. So here if I type curly braces opening and closing, then this is called block. One important thing to note here is that blocks do not have names and that is the reason blocks execute automatically. We cannot call them explicitly. So here I typed curly braces and this is called a block and it doesn't have any name. Hence we cannot call them as and when we want. In Java, we have two types of blocks. One is static block and another one is non-static block. For a static block, again I have to type curly brace and just because this is static, so I have to use static keyword over here. So this is a block and I have mentioned static, it means this is static block. What about non-static block? So for non-static block, we don't have to mention anything, any keyword like static or anything else. It is just about opening and closing curly braces. So this is called non-static block. So these are the two types of blocks that we have in Java. So that is the one of the difference between block itself. For static, we have to use static keyword. For non-static, we don't need to use any keyword. And static block will execute automatically only once when class is loaded in the memory. So we need to understand here static block execute only once automatically when the class is loaded in the memory. Whereas non-static block execute automatically every time we create an object of the class. So both are blocks. It doesn't have names, right? So both will execute automatically, but static block will execute once class is loaded into the memory and non-static will execute every time whenever we create an object of the class. To understand these two types of blocks practically, we will have few print statements and we will also create a few objects and execute this program to understand this behavior. So in a static block, I'll have one print statement like this is static block and execute only once. when class is loaded and for non-static again I will have the same thing like this is non-static block execute every time we create an object So in the print statement itself, I tried to mention their behavior like this is static block and this will execute only once automatically when class is loaded and non-static block will execute every time automatically when we create an object of the class. and. Uh, here I will have a main method and uh, here we are talking about object so I need to create a few object let's say a1 so 
here we have a class so the expectation is that when this class is loaded into memory static block will get executed and we will get this statement in the output and here we are creating object of this class a1 so as and when a1 gets created so non static block will get executed and we will get this in the output and uh, here also let's have one print statement this is main method something like this and uh, if i'll execute this program look at the sequence of the output that we got here this is static block execute only once automatically when the class is loaded so this is coming from static block so first this class get loaded into the memory and this got executed so we are getting this in the first place and after that we are creating a object so as soon as we create an object non static block will get executed and we are getting this in the output and after this we are getting this statement from the main method like this is a main method so this output shows like static block get executed first when we create an object non static block get executed and this also shows the sequence and behavior of static block and non static block and uh, here we mentioned and we discussed like non static block will get executed every time when we create an object so let's give a try with one more object so i'll have one more object let's say b1 and now the expectation is static block will execute once but just because we are creating two different object a1 and b1 so non static block should execute twice and at the end we should see this statement in the output so let's give a try and yes we are getting the output as expected first this is static block and then because of a1 we are getting non static block and because of b1 we are getting non static block statement again and at the last we are getting this is the main method so the sequence is also correct and the output we are getting is also correct as per the static and non static block behavior so guys this was all about blocks it's very simple to understand we have two types of blocks static and non static and with the help of this practical example we understood their behavior and the sequence of execution now let's talk about methods so if you are already working in java then you must be knowing about methods but we will just give a high level touch upon to methods so that at the end we can compare blocks and methods so just like a blocks again we have two types of methods available in java one is predefined and another one is user defined methods so when we say predefined methods so as name suggest predefined methods are the one that already exist and are part of java library and these methods are readily available to use for us for example here i used print ln method to print this statement so if i'll click on print ln then see this is the method which is defined in print stream dot class but this is the method that is created by java developer and this method and this class is a part of java library itself so this is called predefined methods or inbuilt methods also both are same so it's very simple predefined methods are already available and and are part of java library and uh, we as a developer we can use them straight forward user defined methods are the one which we as a user define for our own custom uses for example here i want to define one method let's say get name and uh, 
here i'll print some statement this is from automation elearn okay so just now i have created one new method it has a name as a get name and this is a public type and it's not returning anything and in this method i am just printing one print statement so just now i have defined i have created new method but i have not used it anywhere so i need to give a call to this method so here what i can do is i can call get name using a1 i can also call it using b1 also so here i created a new method and here i have used the same method so now if i will execute my program a1 will call get name and this statement should be printed and after that b1 will again call get name and the same statement will be printed so this is user defined method which i have defined just now as per my need so before running this program now let's quickly recap about methods so we have predefined methods which are already available in java library like print ln or you can also explore other methods also like here if you see we have overloaded form of print ln and we have lot many other methods in this class only and likewise we have many other classes which are coming part of java library here print f is also another method so these are called predefined inbuilt methods that we can use straight forward user defined methods are the one that user defined as per their need just like this one so now let's try to run this program and see how it's behaving now and what are the sequence of outcome that we are getting now so run as java application okay so let's understand it from the beginning so again static block is executed as and when this is loaded into memory and uh, then coming to main method we are creating a1 and a2 so non static block will get execute each time we create object so this is for a1 this is for a2 and after that a1 is calling get name so this is printing this is from automation elearn because of a1 and again b1 is also calling the same method user defined method so we are getting this statement again and this is the one this is main method at the last we are getting so this is the final outcome and the sequence we are getting after having blocks two types of blocks and uh, two types of methods in the program if we explore it further these methods then for each of these types we have static and non static version so for predefined methods also we have static and non static and for user defined also we can have static and non static for example this is the user defined method and it doesn't have a static keyword it means this is non static and that is the reason we are calling get name using object of the class so for these two types also further we can have static and non static so one example also i can show about predefined static method for example apps apps is a method which is used to find absolute of number which is coming from math class and uh, if i'll open this so see apps is a static method which belongs to math dot class so these are predefined methods but static type and we saw print like this is predefined method but this is not static type and similarly we can have a user defined also if i'll mention static keyword over here then this will become static user defined method so again we can have such kind of categorization for both these two types of methods so guys i have already discussed these topics in my previous video in detail 
so please do watch these two videos where i have explained static methods and uh, its uses its behavior and uh, do's and don'ts in static so you can refer these videos to learn many other concepts related to static in java so guys this was all about blocks and methods and uh, let's briefly talk about differences between blocks and methods however i have covered those differences while talking about blocks and methods but let's highlight it explicitly so that it will be clear for you guys as i mentioned in the beginning blocks do not have names whereas methods always have a names this is user defined method and get name is the name of the method and if you talk about predefined methods also then this is the name of the method so that is one of the major difference between blocks and methods another one is again related to the name only just because blocks do not have names so we cannot call them explicitly there is a specific sequence decided for the blocks we cannot call them as and when we want whereas methods are having name so by using the method name we can call the method as and when we want and here i am calling predefined method println which is available in library so these are the two main differences when we talk about blocks and methods in java that's all for this video guys in my next video i will discuss what is the execution sequence between static block non static block along with constructor in today's video we understood execution sequence of static and non static block but what will be the execution sequence if we also have a constructor along with blocks so that i am going to discuss in my next video please let me know if you have any questions or any doubts and also guys let me know if you want videos on any specific topic that you are struggling with i will try to cover that in my upcoming videos and if you like the topics and the concepts that i am sharing on this channel please do subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends thank you for running this one thank you